Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the man. She's always got some uh, passing plays for you guys today. Uh, some update uh, news as well. Uh, for people that have been playing Madden, uh, I'm sure they've noticed that Cover 3 uh, has really changed a lot since the update a couple days ago. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on differently. And I'm also going to give you guys uh, a one-play touchdown scheme, which I think is kind of rare now. I think Cover 3, based off of how it covers, could become one of the meta defenses in the game. Uh, one of the meta zone coverages in the game once again based off the fact that this uh this new patch uh has really made it very difficult to uh, to hit one play touchdowns against uh number one i'm going to start off with the gun empty base flex because this is something that a lot of people in my comment section are asking me about uh based off of the fact that the middle high low um is probably it's one of you know a lot of people's favorite play it definitely was mine uh, and it's been this is a play that's been patched constantly since the game came out uh and i it's to the point now where it's not 100 percent dead i'm going to show you guys a new uh setup that you can use but it's definitely not what it was so let's go and let's pick the middle high low then on the defensive side we'll pick that uh cover three sky other than that, if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine, make sure to check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. Discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Link in the description below. And let's go and let's get right into the video. This play here was to the point where all you had to do, I used to streak the A route, put the X route on a drag, and this Y route would just get past the cornerback because the cornerback would react to the drag. Uh, I, it doesn't do that anymore. You can see that the cornerback, if you watch the cornerback on the left side there, he doesn't bite uh, and there's just no real opening. I mean, that part of the play is pretty much dead. There was additional setups though that you can do that still have success. I find that the best one is you motion in the X route. This is something, if you saw the maybe the second video I put out, uh, this was probably uh, you know one that still can have some success. But even this is really dependent on the zone chuck. As you can see right there, the running back, if he gets caught up, coming out of the uh coming out of the break it still doesn't work but this is at the moment the best thing that i have so let's go and let's try this one more time like i said it really depends on whether he gets zone chucked or not you can see there he gets zone chucked again so I'm going to try it again. I put a better running back in. Hopefully Joe Mixon can power through that, which he does. Like I said, that's pretty much, I think that was more on the running back there. But you can see even here, he doesn't get gone. He just, he still gets caught. But this is still definitely without a doubt, if you want to still run this play, you still want to have this play in your arsenal. I think that this is probably the best way to do it. The A route, the tight end, uh, can probably still have success the same way. Uh, but like I said, it's really dependent on uh, what type of animation you get coming out of the break. And then you can see Joe Mixon, a better running back, can make that play so you can still have a one play touchdown against cover three uh, with this particular play if you do uh, this particular setup the way this used to work too if I had a faster tight end Uzuma might still get gone as well uh, but you can see that's a, a little bit more sketchy although you can still have a big play so that's one of the ways you can make the cover three uh, this particular play still work the, the other setups for like cover two and all that stuff are still pretty much the same so now I'm going to try to create a more traditional cover three one play touchdown um, which, you know, this is kind of a typical setup. Something like this, where the slot receiver, you kind of want the outside cornerback to follow what the Y route uh, is doing, following the uh, the corner route, and then the X receiver typically is a one-play touchdown. Uh, you can see now the cornerback, he'll bite on that for a minute, but then he'll turn his attention back to the receiver up the seam. Uh, now it seems like cover threes just don't let anybody get past the outside cornerbacks it's like they're always on a uh, play sticks or something like that where the cornerback will will start to bite on this outside of the route like it used to but it won't commit and the second that it senses somebody's getting past him you can see he's not even past him he's, he's not even even with him he immediately turns his attention back to that slot receiver now uh which you know you can look at this two different ways you can look at it like well this guy's going to be wide open from now on if you watch that guy and wait for him to take his attention away you could easily throw it to to this guy and have it first down which you can do so that's kind of going to be a way a lot of these cover three one play touchdowns used to work it's going to be better just to wait and throw it to this guy because this guy's not going to get passed but i'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown scheme that still will work so let's go and let's back out i've tested out a lot of my uh former one play touchdowns against cover three and the one that worked the best and without a doubt was the single back wing flex close which is something that i've put out in the past i put this play out the last two years the four verticals now there is a slightly different setup but like I said, 
there is, uh, out of all the ones that I've tried, this one here is without a doubt the best. So I'm in the Bengals playbook because there's a couple different plays that I like out of this particular version. The Bengals are one of my low-key favorite playbooks that I've done this year as far as ebooks go. And I thought about putting it out to the community uh, on my channel. Maybe I still will. But ultimately, this playbook, um, or this formation rather, is in about eight different playbooks. The Bengals, the Cardinals, the Eagles, the Lions, the Packers, the Rams, the Titans, and the Raiders, which obviously everybody loves the Raiders. It's one of the most popular playbooks, as well as the Packers, uh, if you watch my channel anyway. So those are, um, you know, you can, you can find this particular play in all those books. But this particular play that I'm going to show later, the PA Cross Country, is only in this and the Rams. So that's why I picked the uh, Bengals today. So let's go and let's start off with the four versions. Verticals. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll just go right back to that cover three. So as far as the setup goes, it's real simple. I'm just going to streak the B route, motion out the X route, and that's it. And this will be a very simple cover three scene beater one more time, which, like I said, there's not a ton like this in the game anymore. So this is definitely, in my opinion, it's one of the more rare plays right now. And you can see the reason that this works, for whatever reason, these... Um, these wheel routes still have that effect where it pulls the cornerback down, pulls the cornerback in. And since it's spread so far apart, it's really all about spacing. As you can see, it's really easy to walk down the field now with as a one-play touchdown. It's all about spacing. If I run it like this, you used to be able to just run it like this. There's a couple different ways you used to, be able to run it. I used to be able to motion out this tight end, which I prefer because it would kind of take the user's attention away from that side. If you do that now, the spacing's not right, and you see the cornerback doesn't bite, and he just drops back into the B route. So you have to do it this way. There's really only one way now that this play will work. I don't even know if you can put the A route on a streak. If I streak the A route, I feel like that makes the play not work also. So, uh, but you can see it doesn't really matter. Like, you definitely need some speed, too. I mean, I put John Ross there um, to make it, uh, you know, that much easier, that much more effective. This play's second best uh, coverage that it beats is cover two zone, which is what I'm in now. Uh, pretty much the exact same setup. Uh, you just kind of have to wait for this outside receiver to beat the cornerback. Uh, and that's pretty much the best thing you can do with it. But I wanted to focus mostly on cover three, uh, you know, to start the video. But there are other things that this play can do. So let's go and let's move on to the next play. So like I was saying, there is another play, which is why I chose the Bengals playbook, which is going to be good against just about any defense. And that's the PA cross country. This play here, like I said, it's only two different playbooks. It's in, this, in the Bengals playbook and the Rams, uh, while the four verticals is much more common. But this play here can be, you know, have success against just about any defense that you're going to see. So I'm going to pick the PA cross country then on the defensive side I'm just going to pick random nickel as far as the setup goes it should look somewhat uh, familiar all I'm going to do is streak the A route put the X route here on a drag and now you're going to have uh, pretty much the X route and the B route are going to have success against just about anything so whether it's cover two cover three cover four doesn't really matter man coverages you're going to have success uh, you don't really need the running back doing what he's doing but I like the play action nevertheless uh, which is one of the things about this particular formation is it does have some pretty good run plays so this is something which I do intend to uh, run a little bit more in some gameplays because I definitely like um, here it looks like we have a cover four and it still gets past it so like I said this hit play here it's going to be a good uh, counter it's a really good counter to that first play you can motion out Boyd and try to make this play look the same as well obviously it'll take a little bit longer for Boyd to get across the field but this is something that you can still do and you can get some one play touches I mean I'm running out of bounds so let's go and let's do this one more time like I said to me it's best not to motion this guy out and the play action plays really well off of um, you know like I said there I could have probably been up the sideline so let's go and let's do that again. If I really want, like I said, if I wanted to hit a one-play touchdown, if I move the ball over a little bit against certain defenses, it'd be really easy. And I've used this concept and hit one-play touchdowns in a lot of my game plays uh, using this. Here, definitely going to be gone. As you can see, we got a cover two. It's really all about speed at this point. And like I said, John Ross definitely has speed to burn. And you can see, if I run to the open side of the field, I'm having a lot more success. Uh, and I'm going to have a lot more uh, bigger plays. Here we have another opportunity. Like I said, that looked like a cover three. You can see the cornerback was dropping back once again, chasing his, uh, chasing the uh, the deeper route, which is you know something. Once again, you can use the new cover three concept against itself. If it's going to continuously drop back, it's going to leave openings to the outside even more. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I'm just going to keep it to those two plays. I'll have some run plays uh, for the my Patreon members uh, as always. 
um, or my uh, my join now community tab so if you guys want to see the additional plays make sure to uh, check them out there either hit the join uh, the join button or you know link in the description below for the patreon uh, and you'll get the rest of these plays there uh, but other than that if you guys want to see more stuff especially out of the Bengals, because like i said i really think i might continue forward with the Bengals based off of the fact that um i, I really like the Bengals. i mean it's not really a well-known book but it has one of the best gun and one of the best single back formations in the entire game uh as far as all the uh, selection of plays pretty much every formation has really good plays in it uh, every different one so i'm gonna go to end the video there if you guys want to see more out of this playbook do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man much shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below